Hello! I've been wanting to make my own desktop computer for a while now um, for video editing and eventually gaming so I thought I would film the process and show you what parts I use and stuff as well as the final outcome so let's get to it! I'll be linking all these in the description but this is the case Keyboard, processor, RAM went for 16 gigs, motherboard, power supply, this is my backup SSD, still waiting on the other one, here is my graphics card, and I went for Windows 10. So just gonna start out here, whoopsies, gotta unscrew the sides of the case so I can get out the, the inside, so you can see that's what it comes with. Yeah, what does this wire do? Hmm, okay, well, hmm, let's see. And don't need these right now, whoops, eh. Okay, gonna install the power supply first. I didn't really have too much of a rhyme or reason for what I did when. There um, weren't too many instructions, so just kind of did whatever. And it's in. I also screwed it down, but did not take that. So let's put the IO port shield thing in the back. There's the motherboard. Just going to pop the processor in there. You can see the fan and processor. Okay, here goes the processor. Had to be very delicate, didn't want to bend any of those pins. It's in. Can't forget the fan. Just gonna hook that up too. Gotta put the RAM in. There it is. All installed. Looking good. Started hooking up some of the buttons. And let's just add some more before sticking it into the case. And time for the graphics card as well. Oops, there's another sticker on there I forgot to take off. There we go. So here is the general setup. Still waiting on that other SSD, so I couldn't finish it this night. And here we go, working with an ADA 240 gigabyte solid state drive for my main drive. Hooking that up with the SATA cables. And just kind of moving some of the cables out of the way for the motherboard to go in. I probably should have left some of the connecting until a little bit later, but hey, it's my first build. Here we go. And this is the point at which I do not completely screw in all these standoff screws, and somehow I accidentally busted my motherboard, as you can see there. Um, I would have been able to probably send it off to them to get fixed, but it was going to take like four to five weeks, so those are the little standoff screws that didn't go in completely. I just decided to get a new one, hooked everything up, and it's ready. So just installing the OS, and everything worked out. Gotta put some stickers on. Nice. I'm just covering that up with Sailor Moon. And I named her Ava. So yeah, this is my current setup. It has a big TV because <laughs> I do not have a monitor yet. But it works and it's fast and it's awesome and I am so glad that I built it. Minus the little motherboard frustration. But thanks for watching and I hope you liked seeing it come to life. Bye!